Hello and welcome to Earth's Time, Grandma Mimsy. And today this video is on the Green Diamond Sticky Stamping Glow in the Dark Air Dry Polish from She Modern. Um, I've used this a couple of times. I did an, a Manny that I'm, uh, I'll do a tutorial on how I did. It came out really, really cute. Um, unfortunately, I didn't let it dry fast enough and we had plans to go someplace so in the process of going and doing what we did and just being out and about and because it wasn't dried enough I lost a lot at the tips kind of got wore down um, because I I just did my nails right before we went out so at this point it <coughs> excuse me um hydrate happens every time I start talking <coughs> I apologize um and then yeah so I I took it off because it was like yeah it was all messed up so then I did this so I'm thought I would share things after using this several times uh, I have some thoughts that I wanted to at least share that process before I do the other video on um, on what I did on that other mini that was super fun and super cute and um, got a lot of compliments on. So I'm going to show you really quick. I picked this up because I was going to use them, but then I realized the polish isn't open. So this is what I want to show you is that I, I'm in Vegas. This is the polish, the warehouse where she modern is coming from Texas. So I'm not sure what the altitude difference is, but I know Vegas is a fairly high uh, altitude rate. I know we're over or close to around 6,000. And so at this point, I've had this about a week. And I don't know if you can tell, but it's like it's blooming up through the inside of the neck. So depending on where, what you where you are and you know the what it's going to take for the shipping for you to get to um these bottles come really full so that's like a good thing and a bad thing because then as you're trying to use the polish it's coming up at you so i don't know how to adjust for that the other thing is that because that happens so much i end up getting it around the edge of the neck and so you're going to want to have something available that like when you're cleaning off your plates that before you put this back in you're going to want to clear off the neck so that your bottle doesn't get stuck because like I said it likes to come up the top of the narrow opening of the bottle and that can be a good thing and a bad thing depending on your perspective of stuff so I'm going to clear that off really quick before I screw that back on so I have some polish remover on my pad ready to go now, She Modern does not recommend that you use your polishes from She Modern as a base coat. That you should, you know, use something else. Um, sorry, walking, talking, chewing bubble gum. Most of the time, I can handle it, but trying to film and manage what I'm doing at the same time while managing what I'm trying to say it's at the same time. It's a little harder. Then you might think. So yeah, that's a pretty good coat I put on here um, because I wanted to show you it. It is very thick in the. Uh, put that. Uh, with that. There's like a glob, and I just don't want that to mess with the the plate of things. So yes, this is a very thick polish in case you're not used to or have not used She Modern. So it's, you only need a little bit. That That's the one thing on the two polishes I've gotten so far um, that A little goes a long ways, whereas in comparison to the maniology, 
Some of their polishes are, are a cream and it's a thick and some polishes are smooth and they're not. I mean, they're, they're not thick. They're, they're just, they're smooth and flowing and, and they go. And so there's a wide range of stuff. And I know both these have glitter, so I don't really have experience with it. So my next selections, I'm going to try and do things that are not glitter related. So in the process of that, to kind of get a different feel for how the different formulas um, work. Because in my experience, I've used Sally Hansen and um, Maniology and a couple of other off indie brands and whatnot. So I, I, I compare my comparisons based on um, usability. So at this point, this, like I said, is a very nice polish, it's, and I did that because, hey, it's very pretty, and it's glow-in-the-dark. And my goal on my other manis, there was a couple of them I was trying to do, and I wanted to um, have the letters, I wanted to have a nice pretty background and then have the letters spell out things and I couldn't get that part to work so that's kind of where I was going but I wanted to show you the significance of this and why that's important so oh and both of these polishes I'm gonna here's also one of those pros and cons depending how you look at it depending on your perspective that is both a good thing and a bad thing because they are incredibly sticky um, Whereas the mani maniology polishes, I really like because you you use the polish and then it sticks the way it needs to stick. And if it happens to dry, they have a sticky stamping polish that you can use that makes it oh so great. And then it dries and you're good. These ones will stay. I'm going to just uh, up front. This is, this is a good thing and a bad thing kind of in the same way it is so super sticky that you need to make sure you're giving it time to dry because it will take a long time for that sticky to not be there and that is the design and that's the good thing so you have plenty of time to do your whatever it is that you're going to do um and if you're going to use a foil or something like that it really sticks so these are really nice polishes. I'm not saying that, it, that the, the, the long stickiness is a bad thing, but I'm also gonna say that I have, and I said this on my other, one of my other videos with the, um, with the rosy one, that I think I've cleaned my plate and then I go back and it's like, ew, they're still, st it's, so you're gonna have to make sure that if you wanna clean your plates and use them again or put them away or whatever the case, you got to clean them like two or three times to make sure you get all the sticky off because it hangs around. And you're like, I thought I cleaned. I, I'm just a little fussy on that. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. Again, um, I just, I just thought it's funny. That's just, that's just, you know, how that one goes. So, um, what was it going to, how was it going to, trying to think how I want to show this and what color I want to use to show this. I think I'm going to use this one. And hopefully this will, this one will dry quickly enough for the demo. Hi guys. You enjoying watching me paint polish? Watching paint dry? Polish? Paint and polish watching paint dry. I know there's a thought there. There's a joke there. It ain't forming. <sighs> I use the phrase, oh yeah, you know, it's kind of like watching paint peel. At the time that it would, never mind. I'm just trying to be funny. Okay. And my, and my favorite, not black, but almost black, from um, Maniology is Batty B489. Um, in case you're wondering, this is Gretel Brittle 
be two two two. It used to be a TV show a really long time ago called um, Room Two Twenty Two or Two 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 or something like that. It was funny, but it was like from back in the day, and the jokes might not transfer. Let's see. So are we? Are we dry on this one enough? I don't know if I could stamp on that yet. Oh, turn on the fan. And move those in front of the itty bitty fan. Maybe that'll help. Interesting how on all these letters, the S, the U, V, W, X, and Z, even though they're capitalized letters, they're still smaller than the rest of the alphabet. Okay, that is dry enough. See, that's the, that's the difference, is that and why I like maniology is that there isn't a whole lot of wait time that you can move forward. She Modern, I, I like the formula of the polishes and the way they maneuver. And I love the fact that if you want to take your time, you absolutely can. So it it holds to that you're able to, to not have to rush and stress, stress. And again, at the time, at the same time, it then adds that extra element of time for your mani that you have to incorporate. And where'd my... Okay. I did not... With the fan going... Turn that back down. Wow, don't know how I did that. Funny pet tricks.
didn't put enough polish. See, that, and that's the other difference between the two, is that, yes, with maniology, you do need to use more polish. Don't be afraid to do that. With She Modern, you can be, and it's not, it's not a matter of being frugal or not. Um, use the polish. Use the polish. You got the polish. Polish doesn't go bad. I've had bottles from Maniology for years and years and years. I've been getting shipments from them almost as long as they've been Maniology. Been at this a while. And all of my bottles are mostly the ones that I've had with me are still perfectly fine. Um, some of them I've had to use thinner on and that's okay. That's what they sell it for. See? This whole time did not wait long enough and it actually came off. Well, we'll let that sit. Grab me a different I like the two little dots. I just think that's kind of cute. Might as well put the polish. Oh, hey, let it dry long enough, and there you go. Now, the thing is, is that, as you can see, this is not sheer, even the tiniest amount. And so, that diamond -y gold, or diamond -y white vision of what you're seeing on that is what's going to be uh, on your image. So if you wanted to put that over something, and that was the whole point of why I wanted to share this with you, because I wanted to do an image and then put this over the top oh my god I had just the tiniest amount look at that and it go look how far that is going as I said in one of, in one of the manus that I was trying to do I wanted to be able to put that over the image and have the image be seen and then have the sparkle and it didn't work out that way so I like that and I, I don't want to mess that up I changed my mind I'm gonna grab a different one and we'll do this image do I want to
No, that's not gonna. It's not gonna be thick enough to be seen over. And as an example, you can see the difference in the shading of the bottle. This is where the polish is because you can see the, the more of the glitter, whereas this is less sparkle. It's more dark. And this line right here in the middle, that's where my polish level is. That's how you can tell. And I've had this over a year because I got this last Halloween. So... Use the polish. Don't be afraid to use the polish. I probably talked too much. And that probably dried on me. Oh! We got it. We got it. So you can see the image underneath. And the image on top. Giving it just a moment to set. Now, if I wanted to highlight part of it and have it be the glow in the dark, well, that's what happened. It covers it up. So it's something you're going to want to put this as the background um, because anything you put over the top, you won't be able to see. So let me put all of these under the light. Shiny, 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 shiny. More than they have been. Shiny, shiny, shiny. Yeah, I know. Crazy lady. And we'll turn off this light. And turn off this light. And you see what we get. There's still too much light coming in that you can't really see how much it glows because I have other lighting going plus the daylight coming in the windows which <sighs> and here is the again So if you want something to glow with the sparkle of this, because it's not clear, you're going to need to put it underneath. So there's my hints and tips and tricks with that. Sorry about it being so long, um, but I wanted to kind of share that experience and I don't know if these ones are going to show up enough on camera because I just wanted something simple to be able to do videos with for the time being. And I did the glow in the dark, just the glow in the dark, very thin, very light, very, so it just looks kind of sparkly. And then with the light on, you really can't tell her. There's, it's cute, you know, plain, very basic, very nothing there. But when the light hits it in the right place and it gets all charged up, it's all nice and pretty. 
Thank you for watching. Please be kind. Do not let those who are in the Misery Loves Company Club recruit you because they're always recruiting. Be the best person, human, that you can be to those who might be the most difficult people out there only because they don't, they don't understand. Anyway, um, hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you soon. Bye.